Hi, it's Hank. Today I have this 3D printer. It gets an alarm. Uh, it says the nozzle temperature is low. So it happens pretty early on in the print. Uh, you get a couple layers of base down and then you get this alarm. It's happening almost every time we print now. So I think I'm going to replace the, uh, the hot end right there or the uh, print head. Uh, we found that online is pretty reasonably priced. I'll show you in a little bit. So first thing I'm going to do is heat the uh, head up so I can pull the filament back out of it. You release the filament with this little uh, lever here. Of course, you probably know that. Pull it out. The one thing you may not know is when you pull it out, see it's going to stop right there. Don't try to just pull that through. You'll break it off and then you'll spend a long time trying to pick that broken piece out. So push it back in. Pop the uh, feed tube off on the other end and then uh, clip off that melted end of your filament. You can see here it's got a little nub melted on it that will not pull through. So now we're going to go ahead and power down and uh, start disassembling this a little bit. Uh, got the feed tube pulled off on that side. Here is the uh, new hot end that we bought on Amazon. It was only $21 so you can't pass that up. We were already having issues with the fan being a little bit noisy sometimes, one of the one of the two fans. So for $21, $22, we get the uh, the new nozzle, which you know wears out over time anyway. You got the new heaters. Um, you've got uh, a new fill tube or feed tube, we'll call it. Uh, two new fans and new wiring going all the way back to the control board so really these printers are made for the do-it-yourself or to repair came with a handy dandy toolkit here in this drawer that stays on the printer it has all the tools you need so we'll start taking this thing apart we'll take a couple of allen head screws out of the back of the uh, of the hot end head there take the plastic cover off now you got two more Allen screws that hold the uh, the heater nozzle assembly uh, on. Take those out. There you go. Now you're disassembled on that end. Now I'm going to grab the new the new head and go ahead and stick those screws in the heater assembly there and uh, get that going. Then we'll spin. There are two clips. Notice on this cover and one of them has a little pin that goes in a hole so uh, line that up okay, it almost snaps on it doesn't really snap but it fits kind of snug then you spin it around and stick the uh, screws back in the back to hold that cover on so we're going to do that right now stick the screws in there so this is the easy part um, yeah, Creelty did a really nice job of making these printers very uh, user friendly. So I'm going to go ahead and take this old feed tube off because there is a new feed tube on the new hot end assembly. Now you have to flip the uh, printer up on its side to get to the bottom. Take this cover off here and that's where all the wires go into. There is two screws on the bottom, one screw on the top right there. So we get that top screw out. Cover comes off. Now we're going to look at the wires. We have several little cable ties. We'll clip those. Be very careful not to clip any wires whenever you're uh, freeing this up. But we're going to cut off all the cable ties so we can get the wires pulled out and see what's going on here so you've got uh, the two thicker red wires those go to the heater and then you've got uh, several other wires and we'll we'll go through getting those off so on the new printer uh, head assembly their the wires are a little different color I noticed uh, putting this back together we had a blue and yellow uh, wire on the uh, old one it's right there in front and then the new one had uh, two white wires and that was for one of the fans so just keep that in mind take a picture before you take anything like this apart take a picture of all the 
clearly shows all your wiring. That way you, uh, when you have questions when you're putting something back together, especially in this case, the colors didn't match, you know, that picture can be real helpful to help you figure out what's going on. So I got the heater wires pulled off there. Now also on this terminal strip there are uh, a couple more wires. I believe those uh, red and um, black, or black and red would be the order. I believe those are the thermal couple. So thermal couple is what reads the temperature uh, of the heaters. Then we have a couple plugs. Now they did us a favor and hot melt glued these plugs in. So we got to pick that glue off and then, then pull these plugs off. So then there's uh, yeah, one more set of plugs over here on the side which are also glued in. So we'll get those uh, worked off and then we'll have all the wires free here momentarily. Okay. Now you just pull these wires out of that uh, wire sock, I'll call it. Um, just kind of scrunch it up like a little finger trap and uh, pull the wires out. Then poke the new wires up in there. Feed them through. So we got the new wires uh, pulled through. Now we just start landing them. So the white one's the last one we took off, so we'll put put that on first because it's right there handy. It's up there in the corner by itself. Now this is where I'm discovering the yellow and blue wire does not exist. So I look and see that that goes to one. So after looking at this closer, I believe those white wires are actually the thermal couple because the black and red wires are fan wires. So you, your fans plug up in two places. One is on the plug, which is going to replace this yellow and blue wire. And then the other fan plugs into the terminal strip. Now we're plugging the... Uh, the black and red where the yellow and blue plug was now the the other black and red wires they go up on that top terminal strip and the order is black and then red on the outside so I like to uh, pre-bend the ends of the wires to get them kind of going the right direction. Make sure you have your terminal strip screws backed out uh, pretty far to allow you to stick the wires in the right spot. After you run the screws in, be sure that uh, you know give your wires a tug and make sure that uh, you know they're in there solid. Make sure you're not just on the insulation, but you're actually on the wire. So now we've got the black and red landed. Now we're going to the heater wires, which are the two red wires, the bigger red wires. These will not matter uh, as far as which one goes in which order. Uh, it's just a heater. It doesn't care which way the current flows through it. So that's why these wires aren't marked in any uh, particular way just the two heater wires go on those two screws okay uh, what else we got we've got all the wires in now we're just going to uh, use our cable tie gun and uh, put some uh, zip ties back on so we'll put on several zip ties get everything back up there snug what we don't want is anything hanging down. When we, put, when we put that cover on, we don't want to pinch any wires. So we want all the wires pressed up there where they go. And we don't want to be tightening screws and smashing wires. So be sure the cover will go on flush. 
then think about putting your screws in. So we've got it all in place. Now we're going to put the screws back in. Remember we'll have uh, a little trouble getting that one lined up there. But once we get the screws in the bottom, of course we'll go back and put the screws in the top, the one screw in the top. Before we flip it over though, uh, this cable here was kind of hanging down in the way that I think there was a cable tie back there to begin with so we'll put another cable tie back there so that we're not just sitting on our cables everything's up and clear so now we're good now we can turn it right side up and we should be done with the bottom should be done with the bottom side we'll spin that around find that uh, screw that goes in the top of that uh, cover we took off right there stick that screw in there tighten her up now we're good put a few more wire ties dress everything up nice and neat you don't want anything hanging put the power cord plug it back in turn on the power switch now we're ready to go now it might be a good idea to uh, level the bed which I'll go over that in a separate video how to do the bed leveling but we're powered up we got the same program loaded back up that we had the faults in took off really good on the first layer okay, I'm gonna speed this video up to about 4x so got the first layer in on uh, this program no issues now here we go 15 hours later still going it's working perfectly so there you go replacing that hot end assembly was uh, something anyone could do I recommend replacing the whole assembly rather than piecemealing new thermal couples new heaters new feed tube um, they've made it really simple so that's how that works.